everyone, this is Savannah from the future. The video that you're about to watch was actually filmed at the very end of July when my work team was about to take their first trip since the pandemic to Charlotte, North Carolina, where I live. However, unfortunately, I was unable to make it to that one, so I decided to hold off on posting this video until we made our second work trip, which is now we're going to San Antonio, Texas at the very end of October. So I figured now would be an appropriate time to share this video as this is exactly how I will be packing my work bag for the trip. I hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, please remember to like it, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Subscribing to my channel helps to show you my content more often on your page, and it's just really motivating to me and helps to grow my channel, so I really appreciate it and love you guys. You can also hit the little notification bell if you're a super fan to get notified every time I post a new video. I post new videos two times a month, however, occasionally I like to throw a little extra one in there to keep you on your toes. Okay, let's get to it. Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am really excited and I am thankful that you are here. Today is my first sort of sit down chat video. We're not completely just chatting though, we are doing something together. Today's video is a pack my work bag with me. I'm sure worldwide a lot of you are in a similar situation or at least were. I was in a 50 to 60% travel job at the beginning of the pandemic. I was actually in a 12 week stretch where I would be, have been traveling completely straight in a row other than the weekend. So it was a big surprise when the pandemic hit and I was just complete work from home the whole time. Since May 2020, I have been working from home. It is the very end of July 2021 right now. With that being said, I've really gotten into a routine of work from home. Not only have it, has it been a long time since I've been in the office, I've never been into the office for this job. So I wanted to pack my work bag and I figured this would be a fun way to do it. Basically just get my head on straight so I don't get there and miss something really important. Let's get started. First thing that I wanted to talk about is my bag. This is my work bag that I'll be using. Now of course I have the huge standard clunky ugly bags that they give but I had bought myself this bag. It is a Calpac Kaya laptop bag and it has this nice little sleeve pocket on the back to put on your luggage. It is, let's open it up and show you. So it has a pocket right in here for your laptop, a big pocket here for other things. This pocket in the front where most of the room is. It has a zip compartment here, some other pieces, and essentially, and then a little zip pocket here that I probably won't use. And essentially, this is something that I bought for my own personal use because one of my favorite activities is actually going into coffee shops in my spare time and spending time on my laptop. I know that's kind of strange, but I bought this for myself because of that. But I figured since I'm going to the office for a week, Monday through Thursday of next week, I wanted to use it. The first and most important and obvious thing is my laptop. Here's my laptop. I also have a second screen. So really I wanted to put these both together and I'm going to put these in, turn the bag around, put these in this back compartment where the laptops go. And then there is a little snap here so I can fasten them in and they'll be nice and secure. So that's the first step. The other very important step is this is what connects my second screen to my laptop. So it's definitely something I need. I'm gonna put that in the front right here. And then the laptop won't work if I don't have my charger. So I'm gonna throw this into the bottom right here. Now that the essentials are packed, the absolute essentials, we will add in the rest of the stuff that will really help out my day. I have one of the little USB ports in my computer already for my mouse. Here's my mouse. I'm gonna throw this as well in this bottom section. And then I was going to put a notebook and a pen because I know that all of these meetings that we've been taking via call, now that we're all in person, we're getting a conference room. So rather than lugging in my laptop, it's possible I'll just take my notebook. It's just something I wanna have. I like to write notes for everything anyway, so definitely a must for me, something I use every day here anyways. The next thing is my wallet. This wallet is a glass ladder wallet. They're also a really cute, unique brand. So my wallet, I'm going to add in my company card in here as well. This is going in to one of these compartments as well, right beside my second screen connector. This little thing has my business cards in it. It opens up like this. So 
most of the people I already know and work with, but there will be some people there that I won't. So just take it just in case, you know, they, they give them to us for a reason. So I'm gonna throw that in right here with this second screen cord. The next thing that is very, very important is my work badge. So here's my little picture. I have this and I can't get in without that. So I'm gonna throw that in right here where I have my wallet. And when I actually get into the office, I will probably just take that out and put that on me. Also very important, anything you do nowadays, you need to have a mask. So we will most likely be wearing them in the office. So I have three, <laughs> just because I'm paranoid. So three, I want to take, I'm going to take all three of these just in case. So I'm going to put these actually in this front pocket here. Oops, I zipped it up. I'm going to put these in this front pocket here. That way they're easily accessible. The next thing is kind of just some other little essentials. So I have one of those, I don't know if you've ever seen, but one of those big actual like headsets that come down. I'm not going to lug that into the office. I previously mentioned we'll probably all be in a conference room together. So if I do have to take any calls with anybody that's not in the Charlotte office Monday through Thursday, I'm sure I can either grab a little room or use these. So I bought these um, with the aux jack. I bought these for my Cancun trip. Basically for the, we were supposed to have TVs in the plane, so for that, but I'm actually really glad I got these anyways, meaning I didn't get to use them, they didn't have the TVs anyways, but I'm really glad I have this kind now because all of the computers that I've had for work ever take this kind and not the Apple kind. So I'm just going to take these in case I need them. They do have a little microphone. I'm going to put them in this little pocket again with my with my second screen. And then I have hand sanitizer. This is a, a must. This scent is, so this is from Bath and Body Work. Bath and Body Works, it's Waikiki Beach Coconut. I'm gonna take that and put it, there is a little hook right here. So I'm just gonna hook, I'm gonna fasten this on right here. I may change the location of that. I may move it to the outside of the bag. But for now, for the purposes of getting this bag packed for Monday, I'm just gonna throw it in right there. Other things, I wear contacts, so I'm going to bring these blink contacts. Sometimes in certain buildings with air conditioning, I just have problems where my eyes get dry staring at a screen so much. So these were in my purse, and I don't use them as much as I should, but I decided it's probably a good idea, especially meeting everybody for the first time in case something were to happen. The, these I'm going to put in this pocket up here. I haven't put anything in here yet, so this is going to be my little personal pocket, I think. Then I have a... Oh, whoops. A Burt's Bees watermelon chapstick and some extra peppermint gum. So with that, I think my bag is completely packed. It is not very heavy. I mean, there's a laptop and a second screen in there, so that definitely provides the weight. But as you see, there's still a ton of room if I need to add anything in here. Let's zip this up. And here, there's actually room as well. I can put a ton of notebooks and stuff. And there we have it. It is all packed. Thank you for watching my video. I know that sometimes it's just interesting to see what people put in their bags and their purses, what they pack and things like that. So being that a lot of people right now aren't in the office or are just making their return back. I figured this may be a helpful video. If you like my book bag, it is Calpac, C-A-L-P-A-K. I don't think that they're super, super popular right now, but it's really, really well made. They have a ton of colors and I really love it from the little bit that I have gone to use it. So I I'm really excited to use it. But if for some reason you want one, I can't, I don't have a code to give, but if you want $25 off, if you send me your email, then I can refer you and you would just get $25 off your purchase. So if you want it, but that is all. Thank you for joining my video. I really wanted to do this. Just it's enjoyable and fun for me doing something that I have to do. And I hope at the least it was a little bit entertaining for you. And at the most, it was a bit helpful. You. Thank you for joining on. Always remember to be kind and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.
We're camera ready. But it'll take four just to make sure it's good.